my name is Corey Taylor. I am the middle school reading and dyslexia interventionist for Arkansas Virtual Academy. I'm Tammy Etheridge. I work for um, Arkansas Virtual High School, um, 9-12 in the math department. When we talk about assessments, there's a couple of different things that we use. Um, we do use STAR testing. Um, STAR testing is available for all of our students. Um, and it's different for K2 than it is for three through 12. Um, we do test those students um, three times a year. They get a STAR test beginning of the year, middle of the year and end of the year. Um, those STAR tests really at the beginning of the year, we're really looking for just um, what is their baseline. And then we start looking for growth on those middle of the year and the end of the year. But even from the, from the very beginning, when we see that beginning of the year STAR test, we're looking and grouping kids together and we're looking for what skills are they deficient in? Because we wanna, we really believe that um, every student can grow and every student can achieve at least one year's growth. So we're looking at what's, what skills do those students need to perform better and how can we build those foundations? Um, beyond the STAR test, we're doing interim testing. Um, we're working on those A ACT Aspire skills. Um, we're look at that data. We're getting ready to do a big data dig on that as well. How do they, how do they perform? Um, so we're looking to find out what skills do we need to work on? Um, it's more than just what did they learn in the curriculum, but what can we do to foster their, um, their learning and help their, their foundational needs? We all use um, the data piece called the Big Teacher work Workbook um, that the data coordinators um, compile for us. Um, and it has every data piece that we could possibly need um, based off of STAR and goes over skills that we need to learn, priority standards. Um, we can sort our students by classes and say, okay, well, this group needs to be working on this and this group needs to work on this standard. Um, and so our part of that is in that back end of being able to really dig into the data with what they give us? So the big teacher workbook, um, we start off and we just put the, our, our units from our course. And then it also has all of our students loaded in there. So we're actually tracking um, how the students have done on each assessment. Um, again, as we men mentioned before, um, all of our standards are in there for what we need to be teaching, whether it's in an English class, a math class, a science class, all of those standards are, standards are in there. So we're identifying um, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, um, whether it's in um, the curriculum online or whether we're doing it in a live session, which standards we're meeting and how often we're teaching the standards, not that we're teaching them, but how often we're teaching them and that the students are, are getting them. Um, we also look at um, students' performance across multiple testing periods. So whether they took the STAR test, whether they took the um, interim aspires and how well they're performing moving up and down um, over a given period of time. So I mentioned earlier that teachers are often the front line in administering these tests. Um, and I, when I send out the email reminder saying, hey, you've got a test tomorrow, don't be late, here's the information you need, um, I tell them, learning coaches, parents, you are more than welcome to help your student get signed in. Um, and more often than not, I see parents and learning coaches sitting off to the side ready to help their student get logged in. Um, and the trick to that is um, when we have, you know, we go through the information of, hey, this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. And we're able to talk to the parents as well as the students and say, look, we're doing this to measure growth. We're doing this to see your student's strengths and weaknesses. Uh, please encourage your student to do their best. Um, you can't help them. You know, we want to see what they can do on their own. But now I have this audience 
maybe captive, maybe not. Uh, and I get to talk to them and say, hey, here's what we're doing and this is why it's important. Um, so on that front end of getting them involved, I'm able to bring them in and let them know the same thing I'm telling the students. So I guess one of the things that I do with my kids when I look at that interim data, um, I kind of have my sessions and my classes with my kids that um, a couple of times a week, we're really focused on what are they doing in the course and how can I support what their learning is at that time. But then we have target sessions that I really focus on what skills do we need to work on, whether it's from the STAR test or the Aspire. And a lot of times that, that material overlaps and I'll really pick kids for those target sessions that I really need to um, focus on and drive those skills in um, and make sure we can work on those things um, to help increase their skills. And that's how, um, to me, it's the most beneficial is to have that flexibility to not teach to the book every day, but teach to what my kids need.